The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Esavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, this is going to be in the new segment called Ripley's Believe It or Not. We went short here yesterday here at this uh, 382 retracement here in the uh, natural gas at 250. When I woke up this morning, it was about quarter to four, and I turned on Bloomberg, and I saw that uh, natural gas was up $9. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'm stopped out of that, correct? Let, let me just show you what, what happened here. I'm going to bring up the natural gas now for the uh, – hold on one second here. Uh, just give me one second here. There we go. Here is where I came in. This was early in the morning. Now, here's what natural gas is doing, okay? Now, this is this is February. This is the spot spot contract, okay? Look at this. This thing's going crazy. It's up $8, and I'm in something short that's going down. Shut the front door and raise her in. I thought that I had lost and ended up being a really nice profit. Now you can see what we've got focusing here. Look, there's drive one, there's drive two, and there's drive three. So what we're going to do now, this is just a four-minute, you know, this is micro trading, but micro trading can have a few bucks in it. So this is something that's worth trading. If you're going to buy, folks, buy the March. Don't buy the February. Buy the March. And that would be down about another two bucks. Just deduct the two bucks. When it gets to here, just watch the February. When the February gets here, buy the March. Put a two well, put a three dollar stop on it. We picked up well over eleven hundred dollars in that on the short side, so it's acting pretty good. Now you'll see in the middle of the night here after this happened, uh, this is when I I was I, I woke up here. See there, there's the four o'clock in the morning time, and look at this. After that high came in, look how close we came to an exact 382 retracement, folks, to the exact tick at 284, okay? Then the market goes down and makes another new low. Let's see if it makes another 382. I don't think so, but oh, my gosh, Johnny, look at that. It did it again. It made a 382 here, and it made a 382 here. Shut the front door and raise the rent. You can't make this up. Okay, now let's move on to what we have to be paying attention to here. Uh, let's get back to that S&P because we, we have a nice profit, but heck, who knows what's going to happen here. This is where we are. We're getting close to a 61% retracement here. But, boy, with this type of action, I would think that we would have – well, we've already gone through that. We got all the way down to uh, 77. We hit the 50% the retracement of this move. So I would suggest you put your stop up here, 47.92, break even, and, you know, see how the cards unfold. That's what I would be looking at. We're having little bumps and uh, rallies all the way up. We'll just look at the smaller time frames. You'll see we're having all of these little bumps and rallies. And if you look at them on the same token that we try to – focus on which is nothing more than a b c d a b c d and now we had the big move to the downside the first thing you want to look for is the 382 back there it is right there at 83 and now it's come down now this is all this is telling us here now this took a whole almost a whole hour to complete here so this is a complete cycle so if this breaks this level right here, we're going to be getting down in here about another 12 bucks, and that's going to be an interesting thing, you know, to look at it. Because if you got to that point for a day trade, that would be 30 handles, and you'd have to say thank you very much, and let's move on to see what's going to be happening to the next cowboy riding up into the sky, as they say here in Tucson, Arizona, only 45 miles away from Tombstone, Arizona, and the OK Corral. Folks, in 19 excuse me, in 1886, Tombstone was bigger than Los Angeles, California. Believe it or not, it certainly was. And another, see, that was uh, 1980, no, excuse me, folks, that was 1965, it was bigger, but in 1985, it was empty. 
the mines had uh, petered out and the folks were had left and they headed over to LA to buy real estate. So, and they're still doing well, as I understand. Look at the bond market, folks. If you want to see a, a market that is here, it is right here. That is under severe trouble. <laughs> Got my hand caught in the cookie jar on that one. Anyway, so I'll, I'll tell you this in a minute. Any, someone's asking me about that. Here's the bond market. We got a 382 coming in here at 118.24. That's down a handle from where we are right now. We made a 50% retracement. This would be a perfect A, B, C, D pattern right here. Okay, that's uh, that's what I'm looking for, you know, right in this area right here. That's what I'm paying uh, attention to here this morning here with the uh, Treasury bonds. Now, I wanted to move out. I have a couple questions. First of all, we have a question here about the July soybeans. I want to get this up here one second. Move this over a little bit here, and we will get this out of the way. <laughs> I'll show you what I'm doing here in a minute. Here, we've broken down below the lows that we had back here, folks. We had our stop at break even. Now it's gone lower. We've taken this out, so and we bounced a little bit above it, but really not very much. Looking at this on the daily, I've got to continue looking at it because we've been down here one, two, three days in a row, and we still haven't crashed below it. Now, the thing that tempts me to be a buyer is the fact that I'm watching the meal contract. Remember, meal is 80% of the value of the soybean itself. So if we go up here to the meal and take a look at old SMH right here, just get the daily up. We want to see because we came down and we see we're almost trying to take this low out again. Now, this is the cycle bottom that we were talking about before, that this is when it actually comes in. That comes in on Monday. Folks, and we've got a big lunar cycle. We have Mr. Norm Winsky as our guest on Monday, but we've got to be still keeping it on on our eyes uh, for a possible a bottom three three drive, drive one, drive two, drive three, and you're going to have a nice cycle lined up. Unfortunately, you do not have a clear A B C D in this game plan, so you've got to be able to do it a little differently. So all I'm going to be watching here in this meal coming in on Monday. There's drive one right there. Well, I've got to do it the hard way. There's drive two on the bottom, and there it is right there. There's your there's your three drive pattern coming in. There's one, two, three coming in right around 151. That's down about seven bucks. So let's keep an eye on that. This is still a, a pretty good thing to look at. All right. So I hope that helps a little bit. Now, let's move on to one of the questions is about Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. We will grab a little picture here of our apple and it is having a blockbuster rally today as you can see the whole world wants to buy you couldn't give it away at this level here at 181 boy but 187 they sure like it so all it's doing now folks believe it if this is from a technical perspective for me of course we're looking at nothing more than another a b c d pattern right here if you go to the four hour chart you'll be able to see it just as clearly as can be and this is already drawing it out we're above the 382. There's no question about that because there was the first 382. There's the second. There's the ABCD. ABCD in a new bear market? Gartley says sell. Risk 3%. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Call now. Toll free at 1 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look here at the crude oil. Uh, I've drawn in the ABCDs here over the last 10 days. And as you can see, we had a beautiful pattern up here. The market came down, and then the Red Sea stuff happened, and it stopped exactly at the 78% level of that last move. We pointed that out. You can see it stayed there, and it had to rally up. But look where we are now. This is the question that one of our listeners has asked. Is this a – get this out of the way – is this a head and shoulders pattern? Two things you have to have going for you. You've got the left shoulder over here. Now, you can see where the line is moving right there. It is lower correct so that means with the right shoulder being lower than the left shoulder that means it's a potential for a head and shoulders that's your head pattern right here okay now what you'd like to have it to make it absolutely perfect is to have it so that the time frame we'll just draw it in on the line like if you were home just draw this in from your high over here to the high right here in other words I'm matching this high get it right there I'm matching that high with that, and I'm going to clone that line, and I'm going to bring it over and see how close we are. Now, we're not even very close at all. Oh, whoa, what are, yeah, we're way off. This is an hourly chart, so you're talking something into tomorrow. So you, you by a time basis, you can't do that. By a price basis, you can. And remember, time is the most elusive thing that you possibly have. So the, what I would do, and I'm not a head and shoulders trader, I'm just if that were even, I would do it, but I'd do it anyway, and I'll tell you why, because you're sitting right at – the 78% level, if I'm not mistaken, bada bing, bada boom, you miss it by, hello operator, four ticks. So that would tell me, yeah, that would be a doable pattern. You've already backed off 60 pips. So that's what it looks like to me. The other thing that I would be doing, and believe me, folks, I got so many things going on that I can't do them all. So let's bear with us what we have here. I would take this last distance. Now, this is a four, a three hour break. I want to see what that three hour break takes us up to the 1.618 which is right up there, same area, around 174. So this is the zone where it should have had some problems. So if I was really to do that, this is what I would be watching, watching those types of patterns unfold. I'm not doing that. I'm involved in the stock market, and I'm also uh, involved in the gold market. That's, where is the gold market down here? It hasn't moved very much, the gold market, but let's get it up here because we've had a couple of nice little patterns completing here today. Let's get down to our hourly chart. And you'll be able to see, we did this in a video. Let's get this around here. 
move it up a little bit, a little, little bit here, a little bit there. Let me clean all of these out, and here's where we are. We've had several nice little A, B, C, D patterns here today. There's what we're looking at right here. There's your A, B, C, D pattern right here. Went up right to it, and you had another one right behind it right here. Actually, there were two of them right in there. And then finally, we got up to this level of right here, 119. That's where we thought we would be a seller of it. So all we want to do is we want to go back and see if we can find a 382 that matches up with this right here. Now, the last time we had a good a rally here, this was just for a good day, but remember, this took six hours to rally. That's a pretty strong spot. So you want to come over, draw it down, and you see you came to the 50% level. You went above the 382, but we were our, our price was at 2019 because of the ABCDs. Blow this up. Not very clear, but when you see it this way, you can see 118.50 was the uh, spot for the uh, for the gold would have had some interesting, you know, place to go. Okay, so that's what we're paying attention to here this morning. We will just move on to another one. A question that we had was about uh, some of these mega stocks. Let me uh, let me uh, go to the layout and get the mega stocks up so we can take a quick look at them uh, one at a time and you can see that they're going uh, bonkers i'm surprised that the dow jones well dow jones is only 30 stocks so nothing much there but you see google is uh how is google doing today well it's not doing very much it's one of the ones that's not doing too much uh avco is making a new high i believe uh broadcom you can oh it's very close so well we were we were up there a little while ago. Move this around a little bit. You can see earlier this morning we were up around 11.50. We sold off about $20. Doesn't mean too much. Uh, NVIDIA has made new highs. Oh, it's right up again. Wow, look at this. Something from a long time ago just popped up. We just made some big numbers in NVIDIA. There it is right there. Your big ABCD comes in at uh, 56, 567, and the high today has been... 576 so and it's trading at 567 right now and it's right at the 1.618 so if you want to buy a put that's what i'd be looking for right there that would be a good one to pay attention to from my perspective and then we're going to take a look here at appel we've already looked at mr appel who's down by the well who meets mr Rabbit, who is here with his presence hold on here we'll get up here there is the uh, wow look at this Microsoft it hasn't made a new high yet but it's certainly trying you know it's amazing the Nasdaq has not made new highs considering these big ones uh, we almost made a new high in meta today uh, missed it by about a dollar so far and then we've got Amazon it hasn't quite made a new high today it's basically the the seven trick pony folks the magas is, is what's really running things now here is uh, Tesla is running into it's been going down we we suggested it would get to at least to here and there's the 78 percent level right now it's trading exactly at the 78 percent level as we speak right now so it's got to hold that otherwise we're looking at an a b c d pattern uh to the downside a b c d to the downside we really need to uh pay close attention to that all right and those are the best ones like i mentioned tomorrow we'll have bill meridian will be our guest and we'll have a lot of fun with Bill. Hold on, I want to get this thing all corrected here and get the cascading up. And then what I can do is go back to the layout and go to where we were before. And we want to take a look at some currencies here when we come back from the break. But before we get back to the break, um, we uh, this is already completed on that, so we're all right. Hold on here one second, and we will be... Uh, hold on just a minute. i tell you what i got to do, folks, just a second. I've got to do a little bit of housekeeping here, so bear with me one second, and then I'll be back with you when we come for the break. If there's any questions, please, uh, you know, uh, you know, <laughs> please let me know. That's basically all I can say, so hold on a second here. I've got to uh, get up here and take a look at it. Uh, hold on where we are here. Uh, where is that? Uh, where is the stop? Is that... Uh, Whoa, 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 whoa. So, oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh-oh. 21, that's not good. We want to get up a little bit higher. Okay. Wow. 
That's not good. 71. That's even better. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. Did I do something wrong? Oh, I'm still not on the air. Oh, I'm very sorry, Al. I, I, I got some things that I had to take care of. Why? Because my alarms were going off and I have things that need to be taken care of. So uh, sorry for that. I will be back, folks. <laughs> oh, dear. That's not messing up very good. Sorry about that. I My my big problem, Al, I wish you had alerted me, but I, I couldn't do anything about it. Okay, hold on. Gold report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, here was, here's what was happening to me. I was uh, taking a look at this gold market, and I saw this ABCD pattern forming right here. All I'm going to do now is this is a 13 minute chart so it gives me quite a bit to look at these were the earlier ones that we had here then it backed off and as you can see on the pullback it came right 
down to the old 61% retracement, just a tad below it. And that led to the ABCD that we just completed right up here. And that's what I was trying to do was to get, I got the fill in, but I wanted to make sure I was able to put the stop in because I sold it at 23 and I put a stop up here at 29. I'm risking six bucks on that. So that's what I'm looking at here uh, in the gold market as we're, we're trading here uh, this morning. Of course, it's up quite a bit. It's up 13, 14, 15 dollars. So you got to be careful, but that's what stops are for. That's what stops are for. Now, I've had more requests from our friends over in Hong Kong about what in the world is going on with the Hong Kong market, the Hang Seng. So I'm going to bring it up here, and we're going to take a look at it together. It is getting – it's very, very close to what I think is going to be a pretty s substantial rally. Now, here it is on the daily, and you can see here we are within – we wanted around 15,000. It's at 15,391 right now. OK, now this is the last support, as you can see, 1.618. That's what we're watching. But we do will be watching this closely because this would be a very nice three drive pattern. There's drive one. There's drive two. There's drive three coming in right around this level right here. So that would be a spot to potentially see a pretty good bottom. This has been so bearish for so long, folks. Look at this. This thing has just been. Here's the problem. You see, if, in fact, this this bottom, this uh, double bottom here at 15,000 doesn't hold. Hello, operator. You're going to see a 50% correction, or more than 50% correction in the in the Hang Seng, the Hong Kong stock market. I do, would not like to see that because we have friends over there, and that probably hurt some of them. But no matter what, it'll still be good in the long term. But it's got a really good chance to hold this level at 15,000. But if we don't, and if we don't, that's where the problem lies. Now, there are two parts of that. There's Hong Kong and then there's there's China. So what we want to do now is we want to take a look at the ETF for China, which is FXI. And we'll get this up here. I put this in a newsletter every week because it has been bearish for a very long time. And I just wanted to don't know anything about what's going on over there in China. But as you can see here, it's still coming down. We're almost to the lows of last October. Now, they'll be... If we get below that, they'll say, well, that's the end of the world. And it, believe me, it's not going to be the end of the world because you can see that from the edge of town. But we will have some support coming in here eventually. The first thing you'd want to do after looking at the daily would be go down to the weekly and see where you are on the weekly. And very easy. Look at that 382 right in here. I mean, these are – there's nothing fancy about this stuff, folks. It's just a little bit of A, a little bit of B, and a little bit of C, and a little bit of D. Let's move this up here and blow it up so we can see it together. No. People are not trading this, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that either. Get this out of the way. There's what we're looking at. You see, we've got a big ABCD coming down. It's already through that. Now this is a weekly, so this is a this is a big big cycle. See, we're already we've already gone through it. All I'm going to do now is I want to see if it went through to the 1.27 left. I'm going to change the CD leg to 1.27. Okay. And that's where we are right now. So this is this is the moment of truth. We got to be watching this. If this were anything uh, uh, that you could trade, and I don't trade any of these ETF stuffs, but this is what we're looking at. It still looks lower to me, folks, because we get below this one six one eight. It's got big, big problems. Okay, now let's move over. Someone's asked a question about the wheat market, and I'm still watching this. I'm still watching soybeans too, folks. So hold on just one second here. Well, we rallied up here a little bit on the S&P. I'm waiting to see it take this low out. And to get us down on the day, and that would be a, that would be a relatively a, a negative thing to be uh, looking at. Okay, now let's take a look here at the wheat. Just give me one second, and uh, we'll get the March wheat up here, and we'll take a quick look at that. Here's the March wheat. Get the daily up. Coming down pretty good. It was stopped right at the 786 today again. Made a lower low. You see that made a lower low, and then we've rallied a little bit, about 10 cents. Did we take out the previous day's low? See, that came in at 73, and this one was. They were exact same low both of those days, and I missed this puppy. This would have been a nice one to look at because I can see an ABCD pattern coming in just about exactly there, and there it is. I should have caught that one. That had 10 cents in it, and just can't get them all, as they say in the trade. But anyway, that's what uh, – Ah, darn, I'm sorry about that one. 
I've been putting in the hours too. It's just that I have not got the right ones in there. We've done some, done okay, but you know that's an easy one. I have my focus so much on those darn July beans that I've not been able to uh, get my mind off of them yet. But I'm, I'm ready. We're going to be watching those on Monday, the 22nd. We'll be watching meal, and also the beans is what we'll be paying very, very close attention to. Okay, so that's what we're watching here in the wheat, and let's uh, have take a quick look at the corn, also because that's been Boy, that thing has been decimated. It's, uh, I don't think there's any farmer with his right mind would be willing to uh, plant corn this year. But look at it. It just keeps going down and down. Remember, folks, it was $2 a bushel higher last June. $2 a bushel. This one when wheat was 13 bucks. okay? Now we're trading at uh, at four four forty three. How much lower can it go? Boy, I'll tell you. This ABCD measures to $4. Boy, if we get... Uh, corn below four dollars man that's almost like it was back in 1975 <laughs> that is really uh that's really a nasty one and we've seen this pattern before but we've gone way beyond any pattern you see it's it's gone you know let's just see what the expansion is on this one we're going to change the cd leg to looks like one six one eight just for fun and kicks and giggles six one this is what i do all night long and go right there. Oh, it comes all the way down to this level right here. Let me try one other thing because that looks like it's going to be 127. We might be at a really good bottom here in this corn, but I'm going to have to wait just a little bit longer. Yeah, there's the one. In other words, I took the CD leg, made it 1.618, took it to here. If I do the 1.27, it brings us to right here. Okay, but then when you do that, what it does, it gets you... Uh, past the 1.618. So this number that we're looking at here is right about 4.30, down about 13 cents. I'd like to see it wash out. Today had a, a washout type day. We got all the way down to this level right here. Let's look at an hourly chart here on the uh, – yeah, I don't see too much here. We haven't really bounced very much either. But, no, there's not anything I can see on the hourly that – that really, you know, lights anything up. Here's where the report was the other day, and it didn't rally enough to, to mean anything. So I don't see too much happening here uh, in the corn market. Let's see how our time is coming up here. we got a whole minute left to go, and we'll be able to get up here. And someone's asked a question about the Russell 2000. We'll get the ORTY up here. We'll start out with a 60-minute and see where we are as far as coming off a of bottom. And here's where we are today. Uh, we've had, uh, well, we had a little rally this morning. Let's see if that was a, I don't think it was a 382 at all, but let's just look at it right here and we'll see. Ooh, my goodness. I stand corrected right on the tick. Boy, oh boy, maybe these numbers work. 877 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, now on a day like today with the NASDAQ as wild as it is, you see it dropped 200 points. Now it's rallying back sharply, and I can see already that it's above the 382. We just popped above it, so I want to see how much oomph it's got because maybe it goes up and makes a new high. It certainly could. 200 points in this puppy is nothing anymore. I mean, it really, it move, really moves around a lot. So that's what I'm watching right now is I'm watching this. I'm also at the same time, I'm keeping an eye on the S&P, and it also has gone above the 382. Not unusual. Now, what I suggest that the people do, of course, is to put your stop here, 47.92. If you get stopped out, we'll look at it tomorrow. That's basically it. Because these markets, were in that still in that cycle time frame, folks, that we talked about. Anytime between the 13th, and it goes all the way out to the 23rd of January. After the 23rd of January, it looks pretty uh, nifty-twifty. But right now, it's, uh, it's still, you can see how bullish the NASDAQ has been. Look at this, folks. It almost made a new high on the daily. It didn't miss it by much. It only missed it by, see, 78. It only missed it by, uh, well, missed it by 100 points. But that that's a huge move up here. We took our little highs out through here, and we're still we're still going higher. So that's why you've got to be, uh, you know, very, very careful. That's uh, the bottom line of uh, what we're paying attention to here. And we have a caller coming in, I think. And it is Michael about Tesla. Let me get the chart up, Mike, and just give me one second, and uh, we can talk about your – are you able to get those cars charged up over there? I understand in Chicago they're having a difficult time. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. You're coming in good. Are you in your uh, G G7 uh, Gulfstream, or where are you today? Uh, is it garbled? No, no. You're coming in perfectly, Mike. You're, you're, yeah, you're calling uh, to apparently, apparently you already talked about Mr. Softy. There's a theory yes. in the stock market that when a stock is like $10 short of a round, like centurion number, like 400, because Mr. Softy's at 390, there's a, yes. like a magnet. It acts as a magnet, and, and it goes to 400. Uh, there's a possibility yeah, it, it, that yeah, I don't like know of any studies like that. Dollars, there's a tendency, there's some stock market uh, theories that, uh, that the round numbers, the centurion numbers, they act as uh, magnets. And, and right. you know, the Momo traders, they like to push to round numbers like, like from 90 to 100, 390 to 400, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Well, I'm not familiar what, with what's that. Your, so... What's your opinion? 
I don't know anything about that. I remember Gann did some work about round numbers, and so did Jesse Livermore. But I'm a pattern person, folks. I just use it ABCD, Mike. That's what I rely on, and I don't see any ABCDs on Tesla or Softy or any of those things. They're just, just not there right now. There is one in Apple at 88, yeah, but that, that? other than that, I don't see any others. It's 188 right now, so the, is, is the magnet strong enough to take it to 200? Oh, with Apple, with all the people that love that stock, 200 could be a, a heartbeat away. Absolutely. Very, very easy to do that. I hope well, that helps, Mike. Thank you very much. You're welcome, my friend. You're certainly welcome. All right, let's move on here. We got Tesla out of the way, and I wanted to cover one other stock here. Hold on one second. I got to believe that that is. Uh, hold on just a minute. It was in today. UNH, I believe, was it? UNH, yeah, this is it. This is United Healthcare. I think it's the. You can see today it really got hammered. This is why the Dow Jones was down 150. Oh my gosh, look how this stopped right at the bottom. Boy, oh boy. There's your low right here. Look at this ABCD buy right there at uh, at uh, five. Uh, what was it? What was the exact number? Is exact seven eight six was the exact low, five ninety seven or excuse me four ninety seven was the exact low, and it's rallied up to five ten already. Now there's something else that's in here. Just looking at this, there was another ABCD in this little pattern also. It went below it by just a little bit, but no, went almost exactly to it. But there was your low, was the exact number right there at uh, 497. That has been the low today, 497.46. Holy cow, you can't make this stuff up. All right, now one other question that someone had about one of the other stocks that I don't follow very often. Bear with me a second, and I'll pull it up right here. It is the Wells Fargo Bank. I hope that's what it is. I believe, yep, this is Wells Fargo. Yep, there it is. Here's Wells Fargo. It's coming down. Bank earnings weren't as good as possible. But the only thing about Wells Fargo, just stop and think here for just a second, folks. We believe in one particular pattern. We don't need to know about earnings or anything like that. But there's your AB. There's your CD. And look where it comes in. High was supposed to be 50.55, and the high was 50.55. 48 so we can't count that one that one failed you can see that we were off by eight cents so that's no good we have to figure out something new let's see what the 382 will be on this today it might be right where it is right now and really close so we got to pay close attention to that one too so we got some big things going on in a lot of these things so let's pay close attention to it let's get back to this nasdaq here on a smaller time frame so I can look at it and see where we are. We've gone above the, like I said, we've gone above the 382 by quite a bit. Haven't quite made the 50% yet, but we'll we'll see what's going to happen, you know, towards the end of the day here. One other stock. This is the last stock. I know for some reason we had a lot of people asking about stocks today. And where is it? Right here. Where is it? It's an S. Uh, this is it. Oh, no, that's not the wrong one. Uh-oh, I got the wrong symbol. Hold on. That's that's uh, starting with the wrong thing. Sorry about that. I did meta. I did meta, micro. Morgan Stanley. That's what it is. Hold on a second. I knew it was a banking stock. Here was another one that had some good earnings. This is where we are here. Here again, just, just looking at this, folks. You can see what this pattern is right here. Just draw the line. That is nothing more than a one, three, five. You can see your natural trend line. There's one, there's three, there's five coming in right on the money. Let's see from the high down to the low. The 618 came in 94. Gee, what a surprise. And then you got from your high down to your low. That one came in right there. You had the 786 coming in here at 94. You had the 61 coming in there at 94. It's now $12 lower. Now, that's not too bad, is it? But look at these ABCDs on this puppy, folks. This isn't hard to do, is it? You draw the line AB equals CD. AB equals CD. And that's the one that's going to be for me. Hold on one second. You go draw it up right there. No ABCD in here. Well, there's it is one, but it extends up a little bit. But then we have a we had a nice ABCD on the downside. If you remember, there's your ABCD right there. It takes you down to the low. Didn't quite make that, missed it by about six bucks, but this is what we're looking at here as we're watching some of these things here uh, this morning. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Uh, any other questions? I think that we have those covered. I think we're okay. 
and we'll move over here Let's see what else we got to cover here the soybeans here had a nice little bump here at the end here I wanted to show you that because I we're now above that number a bit so that's going to be interesting now let's just go down to that smaller time frame that I was watching here yeah boy it took off like a scalded duck I was really contemplating folks down in here if I could get them here at 21 we only got to 22 but we didn't quite get there and they, it took off so I'm still waiting on the beans the reason is the meal I'm gonna have to wait for a few more days 22nd of January is the day to buy the meal and the beans I guess based on a timing signal so let's take a break live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we have a final request here for today. It's on silver. We'll get it up here to take a look at it. Here's where we are still waiting to possibly get the silver down to this level right here. We made a lower low today. Now, look where silver is compared to gold. Silver is barely up on the day, and gold's, you know, way up in, the, way up in this area. So it's, it's still acting like it wants to get to this level right here, which is 122. The reason why, as you can see here, we do have this ABCD pattern coming in even lower than that. But your 786 comes in exactly there at the 2200 level and that's been a very very strong support way back here you can see we've had some uh 
really strong support here. Oh, interesting now. Let's take a quick look at this. This is going to set up, oh, very nice. This is going to set up a head and shoulders, if we're correct. There's your shoulder right here. There's your shoulder. Let's see where we go from your there to there. Oh, dear. That says today. Are you kidding me? Wow. Better pay attention to that one. Holy moly, guacamole. Let's see what's from the low up to the high. Wow. And we're below the 618, but boy, it started to come back pretty good. Looking at an intraday here. Should be making new highs as we speak, and we are. Haven't made the 382 of the high from uh, four or five days ago, but we're probably real close. And there we are right now. So we're going to find out what silver's got in it, and that's uh, another thing that we'll be watching. We can't do all of them today, that's for sure. So this is it, folks. Uh, tomorrow our guest will be uh, Bill Meridian of uh, Cycles Research, and uh, I think you'll enjoy uh, him as always because uh, he really has some great stuff, and he's uh, welcome here at any time. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless, and live every day in a gratitude and be sure that you help your neighbors, folks. Very important that you do that. May God bless.